Hi everyone, welcome to my space. My name is Celeste and today we're talking about fasting. So I thought it was a great opportunity since I just got back from a week in Guatemala and I took a few fasts here and there naturally, but upon arriving back home to the States, I felt a deep urge to just cleanse my body and create space internally. I had to reset, I had to center back into a daily routine and I found myself fasting. Now, there's a lot of controversy around what type of fast, how long do you fast, so we'll talk a little bit about that. Okay, so why should you fast in the first place? The digestive system is the most energy consuming system that we have in our bodies. So the ability for our bodies to actually digest food, absorb the nutrition and then spread it out into our bodies according to what we need is absolutely incredibly divine and intelligent. Okay, you can imagine how much energy that needs in order to distribute itself and in order to absorb correctly. So digestion takes up most of the body's energy resources. What does that mean for the rest of our bodies? So if we live a stressful life, if we have busy schedules, if we are sick, if there's anything in our life that needs a little bit more attention or a little bit more energy, then our body has to first take the energy that it needs to digest the food in order to do that work primarily before it does anything else, right? So think about it this way. Let's say that you are a busy person, you are either with full-time work or full-time school and you get sick, example. And you're eating three meals a day with some snacks in between. Your body has to first make sure that it has enough energy to consume the food that it needs, absorb the nutrition and distribute that accordingly, okay? Here's the thing, you need mental energy to go to school or to work. You need a lot of energy just to get around all day and interact with people and do your things. And you now need energy, I had to catch my thought, because your immune system is down. So ideally, where your body should be saying, hmm, um, I'm sick, I need to distribute all of my energy resources to getting better, first it has to take care of digestion, then it has to take care of all of your daily routines, and then finally, if it gets a chance to, it'll take care of the sickness, okay? And that's just an example. So even if you're not sick, the way that the body works is in that form. <clears throat> so. What does that mean for our general well-being? Our body doesn't get a lot of breaks. This is why sleeping, our sleeping time, some of us need a lot more sleep than others. Um, it's the one time where the body doesn't have to use its digestive energy. Any time that you eat, it takes many hours. I won't go into details um, because it depends on what you eat, how you eat, how often you eat. There's a lot of factors, but Take into consideration that while you eat, you need a few hours after for proper digestion and assimilation, okay? Now, what happens when we fast? All of a sudden, the digestive system finally gets a break. If you've never fasted before, this would be an incredible um, opportunity or an incredible thing to try out for your body. So your digestive system gets a break. It's like, ah. Oh finally get to rest. I finally get to do all the things in the body that I've been wanting to do. I can recover that injury. I can take care of those bones. I can blah, 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 blah. Now the body's going to do it anyway, but it's not going to have as much energy or resources to allocate to all those daily things that we need. Okay. That's why through time, a lot of us, as we age, we get a little bit sick or we just get aches and pains in our bodies, all these several things. So Basically, fasting is like, I can turn off my digestive system, I'm gonna use all of that energy to redirect it to everything else in the body. It's incredible, guys. Fasting is honestly one of the most healing things that you can do for yourself. I mean, this is ancient information. This is not something new. If you've not heard of fasting, Look up Hippocrates, 
look up ancient healing systems for fasting. It's incredible what happens to our bodies and even to our lives. Um, that's a whole nother story. When we just create space and we just stop. So you fast, you create space, your body starts to heal itself. So I just finished a few days of fasting. I chose to do a dry fast. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the different types of fasting. You could do juice fasting, which is very popular. It's great for you. You can do intermittent fasting, where you're fasting at least 18 hours of the day. A lot of people just take a really, really, really early dinner and they skip breakfast and they just have all of those hours in between to fast. That's intermittent fasting. You could do a water fast, which is incredible. If you've never fasted before, I would tr truly recommend starting step by step. So I had been intermittent fasting with my husband for a few years now. Um, sometimes we would do it for a few days, sometimes we would only do it on Sundays, sometimes we would do full Sundays of fasting. So I generally recommend people, if they haven't started to fast, take it slow. There's no rush, okay? Um, it's just a good habit to pick up. And so the last one is dry fast. I wouldn't recommend a dry fast unless you're very comfortable with fasting or you start to do the first few hours dry and you feel okay, I would, you can continue. Um, just keep in mind that when you fast, especially in the beginning, you are gonna have symptoms, right? So your body is gonna freak out. It's gonna be like, what's going on? I need food, I need energy get me out of here, like I don't want to shut down. And that's really what happens and I experienced that for many years throughout my fasting experiences. Really uncomfortable. So I'm just going to give you a heads up. It's a warning, okay? Don't say I didn't tell you. You're going to have headaches, you're going to have body aches, you're going to feel like shit, okay? Um, it's just part of the process. Your body is finally taking a break. It's finally able to shut down the extra things. It's just that we're so accelerated in our lifestyles, especially if you live in a city, your body doesn't know anything else. It just knows how to go, 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 go. So when it finally has a time to stop, it's going to push against you for a little bit. So I did a dry fast and I just wanted to share with you that it was incredible. It was the first time I did a dry fast. I've always done water fasts or juice fasts. And I have to say, it was one of the best feeling sensations once I broke fast and I went back into my routine. It literally felt like I created so much space in my body. I got rid of so many little cravings that I would get. I feel absolutely no need to snack during the day. I have better sleep, I need less sleep, like a lot less sleep. Um, and these are all just benefits that you can get from fasting, aside from the fact that you'll, you'll increase your immune system, your nervous system will, will relax and will recuperate itself. Um, there's just a million benefits, I'm not gonna go into it because there's tons of research online and books on about it, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you've never fasted before, if you have any specific questions, reach out to me. Celeste at Instagram is cg underscore wellness. My website is www.cg-wellness.com and I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah have a great day remember to create some space in your life so maybe it doesn't start with fasting maybe it starts with a few deep breaths maybe it starts with meditating but i think my main message for this video is really when you create space in your life by just stopping and centering and just breathing miracles will happen that is not an understatement. It really isn't. So I look forward to connecting with you guys, hearing about your fasting journey. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Blessings.